Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have a super fun planner supplies haul to share with you. Might just be the prettiest haul I've ever done since I have some beautiful pens, washi, a lot of clips. I've got a couple of stickers to share with you. And, and yeah, definitely stay tuned. I will leave all of the timestamp links below um, if you want to jump around or skip around for different shops. And I will also leave all of the shop links below as well as along with any like referral codes that give you discounts or anything like that. I'll have all of that linked below. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start with the pens. So if you are a close follower of hauls on this channel, you may remember a planner supplies haul from a few weeks ago, I will link that below, where actually maybe like a month ago, it was in February, you may, re you may remember that I was like, oh, pen gems, they seem so expensive, I don't wanna use them just for Instagram decoration, you know, blah, 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 I'm so much better than that. Yeah, lies, literally two days later, I went and got like the, planner, the pen gems, like mother load and have been totally obsessed ever since. So I have already started using them in my Instagram. Um, I'm gonna share the most recent one, how it's packaged, but let me just get like all of the pen gems that I've got before this as well. So I did do an unboxing of these over on my Instagram stories uh, when I first got these in, which was like a few weeks ago. So I would suggest following me over there if you're ever interested in kind of behind the scenes stuff. But I got all of these pen gems in my first order because I'm a crazy person. And um, I, I will try to go through the names. I didn't save the invoice, um, but let me, so I know this is Havana Cabana. And so if you're not familiar, pen gems are basically these stunning pens that everyone uses like in their Instagram photos and they are a ballpoint pen. Let me show you. And here's how they write. And it's a nice ballpoint, it's very smooth, but you can see there is some gapping and that's just what I don't like about um, ballpoint in general, nothing to do with pen gems. Um, but you can buy other refills for them. And I think I found a refill that I do really like. Um, but anyway, they are these beautiful pens. They run about nine or 10 bucks a pop, but she does have a discount code if you are a VIP subscriber. You can also get 10% off your first purchase um, using my referral link below. And honestly, they're like stunning. They look so pretty on your desk. They look amazing in photos. I will totally admit that I love how my Instagram photos have been looking ever since I picked these up. And yeah, you know what? Sometimes you just get things because they're pretty and this totally falls in that category. Um, that being said, I do like some of the refills I've picked up. So I will share those with you guys because I do think they write really nice as well. But anyway, so that was Havana Cabana. This was the Wicked pen and um, really like this one, beautiful dark green color. My husband wanted to steal this one because he loves this color. Then I got the, I think this was Hollywood Boulevard. It's part of her like, uh, I forget what the collection was called. Maybe the collection was called Hollywood Boulevard. Both of these are, for, oh, maybe this is standing ovation. This one is definitely standing ovation and it's um, a chrome pen and this one feels really nice. So these have like a nice barrel, but this one's like a true chrome barrel, which is kind of cool. And it's all gold, gold gem. This one's from the same collection, the Hollywood Boulevard one. Don't remember what it's called, but it's rose gold. And again, the chrome barrel looks so nice. So, so pretty. Really like these. And then this one is, oh, this one's um, Ballerina and it's the Autograph Collection. So the Autograph Collection are all the ones that come with the gold and then the Signature Collection are all the silver. So I personally love the way the gold looks, especially because I have a gold coil planner. And yeah, this is just really, really pretty. So that is that. And then this one is Blackjack from the Autograph Collection. Really stunning. This one I have a blue refill in. She accidentally sent me a blue refill but this one is really, really smooth. I need to send this back to her, but um, really, really nice. And then this one, I think I have one of the refills in. And this one is more of, a, this is like a 0.5 refill if I'm remembering correctly. And I don't love this one as much as the 0.7 just cause that's my personal preference in general. 
anyway. And then this one I believe is called Aspen um, and it's also from the autograph collection. So those were the ones I picked up the first order went totally crazy totally admit that and then i recently ordered from the coffee shop collection and at the same time i did pick up this pen i think it's called rendezvous from the signature collection i've already used this one though so that's why it's out of the box um but this is beautiful i love this purple and it has like this really like soft purple shifty gems up there and then a beautiful gem on top but i did save this because i wanted to show you how these came packaged and so this is kind of how everything comes packaged. It comes in these little nice individual plastic cartridges. I'm not hanging on to these. I think some people do like store theirs in these, but that's just not, I'm just not gonna put in that level of effort. But um, I will sh also show you, it comes with every little order, comes with one of these cute little penguin paper clips, like pen gems penguin, which I think is really cute. You also get like a cute little show us your pen gems. And um, this says being around you is like being on a happy little vacation. That's very cute. Like a little, almost like a little mini journaling card. But it's the business card. So, oh, and that's really cute. I like that a lot. Um, then I have my invoice here. And then also each one comes with their normal black ballpoint refills. I have not been using these thus far, just cause like I said, not that into the ballpoint. But with this order, I did also pick up this, what is this called? So let me tell you the official name. This is the Uniball Jetstream Refill Ink Cartridge in 0.7. I believe this is the hybrid one. I think the gels have been out of stock. Um, I apologize if I'm getting that totally wrong. Um, but this is the 0.7 black. So let's put it in one of these. Oh, it actually just opened up right here. I'm an idiot. Um, so let me get these out and then I'll come back and show you. So all of these, by the way, these, um, these three were the coffee shop collection, the original coffee shop collection. And you got this with your order too, which is a cute little, um, like coaster. That's actually kind of cute. I might like leave that on my desk. Um, so you got that and then you also, um, so those were the original three. And then this was the most recent one that she released, which is the cappuccino. So, these three, oh, I'm gonna screw up their names. I know this one was like latte. Unfortunately, since I bought it on a, as a collection, these three aren't on here. But um, though, yeah, so these are the original coffee shop collection. Don't quite remember the names, but like how stunning are they? Like with the gradient of the coffee colored gems, that's so pretty. And then this one has like the brown barrel with the gradient and it's the opposite gradient. This might be macchiato. Oh yeah, this one I think is latte. I think this one's macchiato because you have the foam on top. Um, and then this one I think is espresso, I think. Um, so that's really cute. This one actually came with a scratch though. So maybe I'll let her know. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but not a big deal either way. Um, and then this one is Caribbean blue. I thought this was stunning. I think I might take the, um, put the pen refill in here for now. So I really like this color. So all you do is just unscrew the bottom. It's really simple. Take this out. And you kind of have to like screw that out a little and that's the original refill. Then you take this off. The um, tricky part is that you have to pull this off a little, but it just kind of, you just kind of yank it and it comes off. And then you pop that on the end of your new refill, slide that in, screw it in there, and then screw this in here. So pretty simple as far as changing it out goes. Some people were talking in the Facebook group about like how hard it was. And I was like, oh God, but it, honestly, I found it fine. So this is the gel, the jet stream. I think it's called the hybrid. And I think this is really nice. It's definitely not as like thick and nice as like a gel would be, but I think this is very comfortable. And um, until I can try the gel ones right now, they only have them in like a blue black and I want them in a black black. So that is good. So anyway, so I think that's the, the one I'm go sticking with for now, but I will definitely try out the gels as well. Um, but yeah, so this is my new crazy person collection of the pen gems pens i am totally went insane very early but i you know i was like you know what like let's just go all in because why not clearly i need to make these a rainbow because i'm insane 
Look at that beautiful rainbow, guys. I That is just, that makes me so happy. So I am obsessed, so I retract all proclamations of not being interested in these pens. They are beautiful, I am so into them, and definitely I'm sure this is a new addiction. So anyway, like I said, if you wanna check them out for the first time, you can get a discount with using the uh, referral link below, but either way, you know, I know they're probably not for everybody. I will admit that I still probably write like how my standard Inkjoy gel writes better. I have not really tried the um, hybrid ink on glossy stickers yet, so I'll have to test that out. Um, but I mean they're so beautiful so like these like these are so ugly in comparison so obviously they are stunning beautiful pen really excited to own them and so next up we have a bunch of different clips that I bought I have clips from three different shops this is the smallest one so I'll start here this is an order from Lovely Little Planners. She ha makes beautiful stuff. I really have been enjoying her stuff lately. I tried her out for the first time um, in the PBC sale. And then I also got one of her clips in a mystery box as well. And for this order, I just picked up two of her foxes. I think she releases one of these every month. So one of these was her April fox, which is this one. And the other one is her February one. I skipped the March one, although I kind of regret it. It was like kind of green and I was like, oh, I don't know how much I'll use that, but now I'm doing some green spreads. Anyway, um, this is so cute. It has this beautiful, I think that's like the cheeky darling clip art that a lot of kids are using and it has these really cute little foxes. And then it's like an actual gem for the little hair there. I think that's really, really cute. And then this one is stunning. Box is glitter and then it has that beautiful flower crown. How beautiful. And these are like hard, like I probably wouldn't take this, um, put this in a planner that I'm gonna take around just because I'd worry about them being fragile. But um, I just think that looks so beautiful and just really, really cute. It's kind of on cardstock. Really enjoying these. So that was it from little Lovely Little Planners. And then next up, I have another favorite clip shop. This is from um, the Creative Bee. I just wanted to show you that little, I thought that was kind of cute there. But let me take these out. This, okay, so this order, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I placed this order when I was at my friend's 30th birthday party and I was definitely already a little tipsy. So I like opened this up, I was like, what did I get? Like, I just don't even remember ordering some of this, but got a ton of new of her new spring clips and they're all gorgeous, so no regrets. Um, she basically had some new rose gold theme stuff and then I picked up some other things that I had had my eye on. Um, you'll see if you guys follow me on Instagram, I use probably a Creative B paper clip in almost every, um, every photo I post, like almost at nearly, because I have a lot of them and I just think she does such stunning ones. I love her ampersand clip. This is the rose gold with the pink background. And I'm not gonna take all of these out of their packaging, but next up we have this pink globe and it actually is like a printed map on there. I'll take this one out because I think the, you won't be able to see it that well, but like this is also with that like more bronzy or rose gold glitter and it's so beautiful. I love this. I think that's really, really different fun for like a week you're traveling or something like that. And then she had these two designs that were like these really delicate tan florals. And I got the owl because I love owls. And I think the little hearts there are so cute. And the little teapot is so sweet. I love that. And then I got some um, pink glitter. This is almost like a pink iridescent owl. And it has like a very, like has a good green shift to it. And it has like the cute little black accents. Then I got another ampersand because I didn't have the basic gold one and I really like that. So that's gold with a pink background, but that's more of a, here's the comparison of the two. This one's more of a true yellow gold and this is more of like a peach or bronzy rose gold. So very nice. And then I got two of her classic bows. They're, her bows are my favorite. I have them in a ton of colors already, but I decided to pick up black. I don't know that I'll use this like you know, necessarily immediately, but I thought this was like a really nice one to have on hand. The black one does come on a um, black clip. All the other clips are pretty much silver. And this is like a very, almost like a matte glitter. It's like not as shimmery as the other glitters. And then this final one here is a pink plaid one, which I thought was so cute for spring and summer. And this one has a very light glitter overlay to it. It's 
it's not like a total glitter clip. It just has like a sheer overlay there of glitter. So very pretty. And that is it from the Creative Bee Shop. I love her stuff. I think she's great. If you haven't checked her out, definitely do. And then the final set of clips I got is actually a new to me shop. And this is K and Co. And she has been in a lot of different hauls lately. I've seen her in Jesenia, the Planner Sophisticates. I've seen her in Kiara, the uh, Paper Princess. So she makes these beautiful fabric clips and I was really excited to sh try her out. Um, I've been seeing her all over Instagram too. And I shopped with her during her anniversary sale. She had a 20% off code. I was kind of late to the sale, so I didn't get quite everything I wanted. So I might make another order when she reopens. Um, but I did get a lot still. I was just like went crazy. I was like, oh my God, cause everything was running out of stock. Um, but this is the little like thank you note she included, which was so sweet. And then here is how everything came packaged in this really cute little thing. It had like this and then it had like a ribbon around it too. I like just messed it up, but it looked really, really nice. So let me take out all the different clips I got. And these are so fun. The number one thing I love about these is that they're fabric, so I don't worry about them getting as damaged. So I love my Creative Bee clips, but I do worry about putting them sticking out of a planner that I carry around with me because I really don't want them to get damaged. But because these are fabric, like, yeah, the glitter might flake off a little, but like something like this, like, this is just fabric, so it's not gonna get nearly as damaged as like a paper one would. So I think that's really cool. The other thing I do like is she has a really cool look with these like really chunky paper clips. I think that's really different and looks really neat. So uh, let me just show you what I did pick up here. So first up, just a plain pale pink. I thought this was so pretty for spring. I could see this sticking out of a traveler's notebook and looking beautiful. That's the other thing. She didn't have any real traveler's notebook charms left when I went to shop, but I know she has some really cute bows that you can hang on the front of your traveler's notebook. So definitely need to pick up one of those. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. Then I also got the pink in this one. This one has like a textured ribbon to it. And this one is just like a soft satin ribbon. And then it has the gold um, wrap around there. Very cute. Then I got this navy and gold one, which I thought I love navy and gold, especially in the springtime and the summertime. So this one has the gold glitter in the middle and then like a gold dotted navy ribbon. And then this one I thought was beautiful. It's this really smoky purple. I love this color. And uh, it has the gold glitter ribbon in the middle. I love this one. I think this is so pretty. I wanna like do a planner theme in that color because I think that's beautiful. And then I got this gray and gold one. Really, really pretty. I love how soft her the color she chooses are. They're really neutral and just really, really delicate and pretty. And then this, I think this is a black. I don't think it's navy. I think it's a black and white striped with the gold in the middle, a classic. So pretty. I just love these. I think they're such a pretty sophisticated look, not like, um, and I, again, I just love that I can put them on without worrying too much about them being damaged. So really excited about all those. And then the final thing before we get into some stickers, I do have a small order here from Simply Gilded. Well, not that small actually, because I did pick up couple of things here and Simply Gilded is a shop on Etsy that sells washi. I love her washi. I use it a lot. Um, uh, if you're not signed up for her newsletter and in her Facebook group, I would definitely recommend you do both of those because she does have discount codes when she does new releases, which is awesome. And this was a new release and I had to get it, of course, even though I'm supposed to be like on a washi ban. So first up, she always includes a stunning journaling card with her orders. I love this one with the gold bow. It's gold foil and it says, create your own happily ever after. So cute. I love how she does these. I think that's such a nice touch. And then also her little business card, I think is even really cute too for like Easter or something incorporating that. It has like a rose gold foil on it. And so first up, um, I did get some washi, but let me show you first up what these are. These she made to go along with her coffee collection. She had had two custom um, post-it notes that are rose gold metallic post-it notes made to go along with it. And I had like resisted them previously, but then I saw them showing up in a bunch of like Instagram photos and people using them. And I was like really jealous. So I had to get them. I especially love these. I think those are like the cuter ones. But I actually think these are more functional for list making. I don't really like boba tea, but um, I still love the way this looks. Let's open this. 
So here um, are these, and I don't know if you can see that foil, but like, come on, so pretty. And they tear up like this, and they are sticky notes. And I think there was 25 in a pack. Um, we'll see if I'm actually able to use these and not just hoard them, but I love them. These with the foiling, oh, so pretty. Love these, so I was happy I picked those up, and they're pretty affordable. Like for the set of two before any discount codes, it was like eight bucks, which is kind of pricey for sticky notes, but in the scheme of things, not that bad. And then let me open up the new washies I ordered, but just so you can see, they do come packaged like this with the Simply Gilded branding, and they're all individually shrinked wrapped. But let me open those up. And so I believe this collection was called like Sweet Confections or Sweet Treats or something like that. And it's these beautiful pastel colors for spring. So let me show you what they look like. So first up, we have this like rainbow striped one. And I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but in real life, there's like pattern to it. That's like a shimmer geographic pattern like in the tape. And so I don't know if that'll show up on camera, but it's pretty cool in real life. And then next up, we have this adorable one that has just has a bunch of sweet treats on it. And this one has some foil on it, if I could get it open, here we go. And has like little donuts, popsicles, ice creams, so cute. And then we have this one, I love this one. It's kind of like a remake. She had one that was like this that's pale pink and gold dots, but this is um, pale purple. and silver dots, and I think it's so, so beautiful. Really pretty, and then of course, the piece de, de resistance is another bow washi. Do I have every single bow washi Simple Gildings ever made? Yes, do I have backups for some rolls? Also yes. Do I love them? Yes, absolutely. So this is a aqua or teal or mint, whatever you wanna call it, tape, and it has silver foil bows. So, so stunning. I kinda wish she had done it in gold foil, I'm not gonna lie, just cause I have a lot of gold foil or gold things already, but but I think this is so beautiful and I'm so glad I own it. And I am trying to get over my fear of mixing metals anyway, so I am excited to use this. So that is it from my Simply Gilded order. And so next up we have some stickers. First up we have a gigantic order from Clever Gal Crafts. This was my order from when she reopened and I feel, felt like at the time I was holding myself back from getting so much more and I still got like a ridiculous amount of stickers. So, oh well. Um, this was, I believe this was in a plastic bag too, I think, um, but anyway. So Clever Girl Crafts makes beautiful foiled stickers. She has a lot of other stuff in her shop, but I think what she's absolutely known for in the planner community is her foiled stickers. I use her hearts and her flags all the time. And recently she came out with some other stuff too, but first let me show you the freebie here. This is a very pretty little butterfly sheet, cute. And then we have these stickers, and I already kind of organized these by color palette so you guys could see what I got. So now she is doing, in addition to her like normal hearts and flags, she has a bunch of other stickers, but let's go through them. Every sheet she packages with a little um, sheet on top of it. I do try to keep these with them when I store it. I don't know if it's necessary, but I figure it doesn't hurt. So this is her um, new format for her heart icon sheets. It used to be formatted like this, where you had a bunch of rows, but I think this looks stunning. You still get, I think, the same amount of stickers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, you still get this exact same amount of stickers, 56 sheets. I imagine this is actually easier for her to cut because she doesn't have to worry about it being slightly offset and capturing like some white in the background, if that makes sense. Um, so I think these are beautiful. I use these all the time. I just think they have such a classic look. The skinny heart, I just love the shape of it. And this is her new color palette she came out with, which is Lily. And it's like a neutral palette with black, a dark gray, a medium gray, a light gray, and a white. So that will definitely get used. So I got a ton of stuff in the Lily palette. So I got that, and then I got her new open hearts, which I thought these were cute. I like these more to like mark like date nights or like hanging out with friends or hanging out with my new dog. Um, so stuff like that. I think these are always gonna mean videos to me. I don't know why, probably because of the planner sophisticate, but um, yeah, I don't know why. So those, I got those open hearts. 
And then the next one, this is called the Duly Noted Sheet. Um, by the way, I got everything in gold foil. I used to kind of vary up the foils that I got, but I just found that I, like it's kind of annoying when you buy different um, foils from different shops, like to have a bunch of different colors and it's just easier to just kind of stick with one color. So I just st stuck with gold pretty much. Um, but so anyway, so this is the still the Lily color palette we're in and this one is called Duly Noted and on this one It's hard to film foil and I apologize for that But this one says like yes, no, do it exclamation point a little paper clip a phone um, A clipboard an alarm clock a thumbtack This is just kind of like all like if you need to note something down So I thought this would be really cool um so I got this one in a couple of different color palettes, but I just thought this was good for marking stuff to remember or marking down to call my mom. I don't know, various things. I didn't get too many of these though, cause I don't know, the yes, no, is, like I don't know how much I'll use them, but we'll see. But I thought neutrals would be a good one to get them in. And then the next new sheet she has are Rome. And this one's like all travel themed. And I love this cause it has like a car. It has the um, coffee cup in here. It has like a camera, which is great for filming in addition to travel. It has like suitcases, passports. I thought this was really functional. I liked that it had the coffee cups. I kind of wish she had done this as um, just like you could buy an entire sheet of one icon, but at the same time, like you don't need 56 coffee cups probably, especially only in one color palette. So I think the color variety is actually good. So I take back what I said. Um, anyway, the other thing I love that she did these with the brush stroke style is that you don't have any white outline on the sticker, which I love. So it's totally all the color and just the foil and you don't get any white outline, which I think looks so, so nice. So really like that. And then I also got this sheet that's called Getting and Spending. I love this. It has like a little sale tag. Uh, I think this is like a little car to mark down running errands. It has a wallet, a shopping bag, packages, Amazon, Etsy, Happy Mail, a little thing you could use for a birthday, shopping list, grocery carts. Um, or where was the grocery cart? Oh yeah, grocery bag, I mean. Um, like a little grocery store. So a lot of different ones you can mark down for like doing errands and ordering and buying and things like that. And then the final new type she came out with was called Domestic Duties. I love this one, of course. Kind of wish I had gotten more of these. I do love how many laundries she's included. So she has like one that's like a laundry um, machine. And then she has one that's like a stack of folded laundry. And then she has one that's a laundry basket. And then she has one that's an iron. So I love that because honestly, laundry is the main chore I do because we do hire a cleaning service. Um, but that being said, you do have like a lot of cute little cleaning icons. You also have recycling and trash, which is great. Um, and yeah, I love these. I think these are awesome. And then onto the next color palette. So I got, um, all, like, all of the sheets in the Lily color palette. And then I also got everything but the hearts, because I think I already had the hearts in the poolside color palette. I'll be honest and say if I could do it again, I would get the Millie color palette instead of the poolside. I thought this was gonna be more like teal than true green. I liked how many pinks this one had, but this one, I kind of forgot that this was like more of a teal than like, or rather, I, this wasn't like just like a light teal. This is more like a green green, whereas I like that color a little better, or just I think I used that color a little bit more. But anyways, let me show you what I did get in poolside, because I do. Th I know I'll use the pinks a ton, and I'll use that color a lot. I'm just worried about using these ones as much. In this one, I still had my regular hearts for, so I didn't get any regular hearts, but I did get these open hearts. And then I got the duly noted sheet again. Again, everything's gold foil. I got the cleaning sheet. Love these. These are really cute. I got the getting and spending in the pool side. And then I also got the final travel. She calls it Rome, but I got that in pool side as well. So very nice. And then moving on to the Millie color palette, I ordered a sheet of these. I don't think I owned this color palette in the regular hearts. I didn't see it when I went to make my order. And this one's beautiful. It has this really blue toned pink. This pink is a much warmer pink to me. This one's much more blue toned. Um, and then you get this cute like like bluish green, a purple, this beautiful soft beige, a purpley gray, and then this like greeny mint. Um, so those are great. So I got the regular hearts for those. Also the open hearts. And then I got the um, 
Rome chic, because I thought I'd use that a lot. I think I'm gonna order this one. The next time I order, I'm gonna get this in a couple, this color palette in, especially going into summer, I'm gonna get this color palette in a few more. I think I wanna get it in the cleaning, and I wanna get it in the, um, getting and spending as well. So I'm gonna pick that up fairly soon, but that is it for the Millie palette for now. And then I also love this palette. Oh, this one I did get rose gold, I forgot. This is the Rosie palette. I love this one. I had the hearts that match this also in rose gold. And I just think it's really pretty and I love how the rose gold looks with these tones. They're like very muted and I think it looks really nice. So up here we have the greens. This is more of like a pinky beige like a light pinky beige, a tan, and then like a very off, like off white. So I got the open hearts, cause I already had the regular hearts. And I got the Rome one again for that. Um, I liked the Rome a lot because I don't have a ton of car icons. So I like that it had the car icons. I have a ton of travel coming up. Not as much the rest of this month and not quite as much April, but May, June, July, we're traveling a lot. And I also like that this has the cameras. This has like a little traveler's notebook. So I could use those more for planning stuff. The coffee I could use obviously for coffee and the pay, like the money I could use for paydays. The date you could almost use for like birthdays or something. So I thought these were pretty versatile ones. Um, and I like the cars a lot too, not just for travel, but also just to mark down errands. Like I said, I really don't have that many icons, so I got those. And then the final thing I got, I had never picked up her colors for Valentine's Day, and she called this collection flirty. So I did decide to go ahead and pick that up. I um, had never ordered it. It would have been in my cart, and I was like, oh, let me get this, because I like this. It has pink, a really deep berry, a light, nice mint, and then this like orangey red, very pretty. And then I also picked up, this was a special Valentine's release. I love this one actually, I wish she would do this again. So this is actually, she's calling this flirty icons, but I wish she would make these in other color palettes, maybe with a few changes. So some of them are kind of Valentine's themed. So it has like the box of heart chocolates, like a heart with an arrow, um, like the little, Cupid's arrow, a rose, but then some of them are really cute. So she has this like little filming slate. I love that. She has a camera. I love these meal icons. I want her to make like an entire sheet of those, the meal ones. Um, and then um, also like planners on here, just like a cute little happy face, shopping bag. So I actually really like this sheet. I really wish she would do something with the meal icons. Like I feel like I need an entire sheet of those. So um, maybe that's coming up next. But anyway, so that is everything from Clever Gal Crafts. Obviously went way overboard, but she does have some YouTubers, not me, but other YouTubers do have discount codes. So definitely be on the look. I always search for discount codes before I buy from anywhere, but um, her, her stickers because foiling is definitely more time intensive and is like an extra step to the process. Um, foil stickers in general do tend to be a little bit pricier. So I always suggest tra trying to find a coupon code before ordering from her shop, but she does have beautiful stuff. And then next up is a little mini order from Aria's Daydream. Uh, if you have been following my hauls recently, you know I am totally addicted to the Aria's Daydream $2 Tuesday. I like prevented myself from ordering last week. I was like, okay, Holly. There is a dog laying behind me. In case you hear some funny sounds, there is a dog laying behind me. She's amazing. I love her, but she's making weird sounds. Anyway, um, I had to prevent myself from ordering this week. So I was like, Holly, you've ordered like every week for the last three or four weeks amp down. So I didn't order most recently, but they, I love her stuff she's been coming out with. So right on top, um, she does have her little freebie sampler. I think it, this matches a new kit she has coming out. I love her freebie samplers. Buy all the stickers, but first coffee, really functional. Her little planners are so cute. And then she released these glitter quarter label boxes. I love these. I love a good quarter box. I've been looking for something that's like, a little bit more decorative than just a plain um, flat label. I do love my Planning Roses quarter boxes, but I just thought these were so nice. I'm incorporating more glitter into my spreads and this is just the perfect touch of glitter. And obviously it coordinates with like all of the, um, she's been doing a lot of glitter multicolor stuff in her $2 Tuesdays lately. So I have a lot of stuff in this exact palette. So I love now that I have like a whole set. So she, this was $2 Tuesday. These are glossy stickers. So she sold them each for $2. And then she also sold a pack of two of them for $3. So I got two packs of two. So I got an entire four sheets of these. 
You might think I'm crazy, but if, when I use one of these, like if I use this to mark down my videos, for example, I would want to use the same color every day of the week. So I'd want to have a bunch matching. I kind of regret not getting just a fifth because often I um, post five videos a week, but I was trying to be a normal person. Of course, I regret trying to be a normal person, um, but I love these. I think they're so pretty and I would want to have like an entire color to use for one week, like whether I used it for exercise, videos, TV shows, whatever. I just think these are so pretty. I love the little strip of glitter. They just look like this, by the way, just the glitter on the outside box there. Love those. So I got all, four of those. And then I did the same thing again. It was like two for $3 with these kind of quarter box labels. These are squared off quarter boxes and they have like a whited out middle. I thought these were super pretty, a little bit more subdued than the regular um, quarter boxes with bows that I got. And then I just got one sheet of each of these because I don't love the, like I have some of the quarter boxes with bows. I'll show you those. So she had released these and obviously these are cuter than that. Like I love, like I love the little glitter touches there, but like the glitter bows, come on, like those are cuter. So I didn't feel like I needed more of those because I don't, especially I don't love the rounded off corner look as much as I like the way that looks. So I just got one sheet of each of these. It has the the colorful and then the neutral. So love these, coordinate with my whole, um, you know, crazy Aria's Daydream functional collection I'm building up. I am just definitely check her out. Her $2 Tuesdays are totally killing it. So really enjoying that. So that was it from her shop. And then the final thing in this haul is a mystery kit. And that kit is from Thumbprints Co. So if you don't wanna see this, just click away now. This is the last thing in the video. You won't miss anything, but I have been loving her stuff recently. I got her mystery kit last month and she, Kelly made a point, Kelly's the owner. She made a point to note like, she's trying to like amp up her game with her mystery kit and totally succeeding. I am so impressed. It's a $25 subscription, but you don't even need to subscribe. Last month and this month, she made it so you could just buy them for sale in the shop. and. She did that even after like people had started to get them at home. They were on sale for like 10 days in her shop. So I was actually able to see a sneak of this on Instagram. Um, so that was pretty cool. I think that's really nice that she's offering that, especially since she's trying to like revamp it. It gets people like re-interested in her mystery kits. She's another one that if you do um, want to buy from her below, she has a Shopify site. So I do have a discount code um, if you buy for the first time, but also, I was able to get this mystery kit with points because she has a really generous point system. And some of you guys have been nice enough to check her out using my referral system. And also I've been buying a lot from her lately. So um, I was able to buy this kit, I believe with a points code. So it was like totally free. So that was really cool. But let me show you what's in this kit. So first up, you got not one, but two notepads. She said she did this intentionally. She didn't just like order too much. She just liked them so much. And I totally agree. I love that they're a dot grid. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ugh, coming in, coming in. But um, that is a subtle dot grid on there. I love that. I don't have any dot grid notepads. So she included two in every box, which I thought was really awesome. Um, so that is really cool. One to, I like to say one to use, one to hoard. Um, so perfect. Um, these are really, really cool. And then the other little extra she included, oh no, there was one more extra. The other extra she included was a pen. Honestly, it's kind of a, like, it's a, it's the Inkjoy, like, I think ballpoint. It's not the Inkjoy gel. It's like a little clicky, I think I like, there we go. So it's not, honestly, it's not my favorite. I'm, it's like fine. It's like a nice ballpoint or maybe it's like a hybrid. Um, but it's not like life changing and it's like not like a super nice looking pen, but given all the other extras, I don't really care because there's a lot of extras. Um, it's actually pretty good for, I think this, I'm pretty positive this is a ballpoint or maybe it's some sort of hybrid, but I mean, if, it's definitely fairly comfortable, honestly. So yeah, so that's nice. So those are the notepads. And then here are, I think, my favorite extras that you get. You get these note cards. And like I said for last month's mystery kit that I got from Thumb Thumbprints Co., I think it's hilarious that Kelly includes these envelopes as if we're gonna share these with anybody. I am hoarding these all for myself. Look at these note cards. They go along with the theme of the kit, but they're also just like 
You could use these to make dashboards. You could use these. You could even like, honestly, like I would stick that like in a little frame and put it on my desk. It's so cute. Like, oh my gosh. So anyway, so here is this first one. It says, keep your heels, head and standards high. Very cute. It's like a little fashion girl themed and I kind of was like, you guys know I'm not like super like high heels fashion girl, but there were no like super skinny model girls and the theme was overall more like sophistication in Paris than necessarily like, uh, you know, skinny fashion girl, I think. And I loved the floral she drew, so I decided to get the kit. Anyway, sorry. This one is my favorite. Look at those roses with like the cool vase. Oh, it looks awesome. Little purple watercolor in the background. And then here's this beautiful door and she, so Kelly does hand draw all her stuff. So her art for her mystery kits is completely unique. I love that. So those are the note cards, amazing extras, Kelly. And then onto the kit and the kit is also really generous. So she puts, it's like her normal kit, but then she also gives you glitter headers. Um, oh, you'd always get half boxes with her kit, but you get like glitter headers and an extra deco sheet. So um, I think this is a really good deal for 25 bucks. So uh, Thumbprints Co. has a gorgeous matte, uh, premium matte paper. Really, really nice. Uh, it's just really, really comfortable to write on, comfortable to use. So here's the little deco sheet and you also get an extra weekend banner there, which is nice because with the extra headers and everything, you probably could stretch this to like a regular spread in the Erin Condren and then maybe like a white space spread or a, um, personal spread. It's not like a huge enough kit that I think you could get two full Erin Condren's out of it, but it's a pretty decently sized kit. So here's the deco. Here are the glitter headers. She uses a very chunky glitter. Very nice. Here are the half boxes. I like the mix of printed and plain. And you get some extra quarter boxes up there. And then here is the full size kit. I get it in vertical. I'm no, she doesn't have horizontal. She does have a mini kit. That's right. She has a mini kit and a personal kit version. Um, I believe I believe the mini kit gets um, the extras as well. I'm not sure about the personal, but I just get the full because I really like the full kit. And, and then here you have all of this amazing functional deco. I love how she does this. You've got your kettlebells, you've got your coffees, you've got TVs, you've got laptop, you've got date night, laundry, you've got like everything you could want, some little flags, her checklist, weekly ombres, two of your full boxes, little icons, habit tracker, bill do. And then you have the other six full boxes, so you do get a full eight. I love these. I thought this color combo was so unique. Um, like her mystery kit last month too. It was like a really unique kit and then it incorporated some green. And this is very similar to that. Um, so I really, really like these. You get your regular headers here, some extra quarter boxes and sidebar headers. These beautiful, uh, uh, not ombres, full box heart checklists. And I love how she has a really muted pattern in the background to coordinate with the full boxes. So stunning. Some extra quarter boxes and some little lists. Then you get your date covers, which are beautiful, and you get the matching numbers. Your little things down here. And then finally your washi sheet where you have this beautiful graphic bottom washi, plain washi labels, which I like cause you can just kind of use these as like quarter boxes or something like that. Some extra quarter boxes and then some extra little heart checklists. So I think this is great. Her kits are lovely. Her art is so unique and special. So, and I love shop supporting, uh, you know, shops that do their own art in general. I just really like that. So. Let me try to get you a little bit of a final view here. I'm not gonna get everything out because I have so much stuff, um, but I really love everything I bought. So tons of beautiful stuff in this haul. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I love all these planner accessories. I'm trying to be like a little bit better about not buying every kit I see, but I think that's manifesting into just buying like all the accessories. <laughs> so, um, but at least the accessories, like they they keep and you can reuse them and stuff so anyway i love this i hope you guys enjoyed this haul give it a thumbs up if you did definitely check out some links down below i'll have last week's etsy sticker haul in case you missed that and i'll also have last month's planner supplies hauls if you want to check that out so thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to see more uh, planner videos and i will see you in the next one thank you bye